You know, if I ever want to impress somebody on just how bad I spend my money, I show them the fact I have pretty much every Sims 4 DLC. Uh, you, you can see I've been skipping out on a few here, but don't worry, I'm not broke. I've just got a better therapist now. Halo, congratulations for landing on a video that will change your life. Soyfei, that's right, it's me, you mischievous boy, ISP. Famous for my terrible deeds in video games and also not frequently uploading, which isn't a joke. It's a statement of fact. So as read by the video title, I will be going to The Sims 4 today and never leaving the house. I got this great idea from the past year and a half of being locked in my own house because of a global pandemic. Now, I imagine there's going to be quite a few obstacles and things to, um, well, kind of ruin this playthrough. But I'm all for it. Uh, also, if you're wondering how you beat Sims 4, because really it is a life simulation game, there is no beating life, you just get to the end of life, e.g. dying. So I'm assuming to beat the game, I must die. Bit morbid, but what channel do you think you're on? You, what, do you think this is El Smosh? Sorry, no haplots. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get straight into it and create our sim. Now, for the whole challenge in general, we're only gonna be using our one sim, and we do need to make him look like he will never leave the house ever again. That's right. My inspiration for today for my character will be hardcore gamer. My face when she's a grill and she plays game. There we go. Goblin man! You can tell he's a real gamer because he hasn't showered and he's got his gamer grease ready to go. There we go, there we got the, the gamer t-shirt, you know, those old you know those old t-shirts, uh, gamers don't die, they respawn. They definitely die. That's right. My gamer hips. Alright, for name we're just gonna go Goblin. Huh. Sad. Alright, for our aspirations, we kinda wanna do something that's not gonna happen have to be making us go outside. So I don't think I'll be going with nature, popularity, love. Oh, there you go, computer whiz. Get on your gamer LEDs, we're going in hard. Love it there you go, for our traits I went with erratic slob and a loner, which I think will help and not have us go too crazy, although we are already crazy. And the slop one is just to see how messy this house is gonna get. All right, yeah, apparently you can choose what music and stuff they like now, so I'm just gonna make him love spooky music because he's literally just a goblin. Oh, and he hates Christmas. I'm creating the Grinch. I've just created the Grinch. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna be sad when I got these buffing hip. Okay, so we're going with the area that was released in the newest DLC, the Cottage Living DLC, not the Cottaging DLC. That is something very different. Do not Google it, little Timmy. You are too young. I will slap you. And we're doing that for the simple reason that with the Cottage Living DLC, you can now like have chickens, and that costs thirty something dollars apparently. Uh, now we could have fought this top lot up here, which would cost oh my god twenty k, and that's all our money gone so we're just gonna build our own little hole in the ground and try to survive it's an open very green but you enjoy it while you can mr goblin because you're never gonna see it again all right so once i've built the square he's going to live in he will not be allowed out until his unfortunate demise will be it wherever it comes i'm not going to try and kill you on purpose, but I can't promise that you won't die from my actions. <laughs> Alright, so considering we don't have any money currently, I am just going to go ahead and not go too wild here. Just a simple little box for now, and he's going to live there in peace. There we go, just to get the challenge started already, I'm going to move him over before I start putting anything in there. And a the problem I just thought of, actually, is how will I ever pay my bills if my mailbox is outside? The mailbox cannot go inside. This is going to get awkward. I guess I could put a little fence around this area so the mailman can come in and he can't leave the front gate. Uh, we'll figure it out. All right, so we've got 11k to work with and there are ways in The Sims to make money stuck indoors. So the easiest one that I know of is selling 
paintings. We're going to do that for starters, but we won't rely on that forever because there are more interesting ways to make the moolah. So for food, we're not going to worry about getting a kitchen. We're not that advanced. Instead, we're going to have a barbecue drum because grilling indoors is totally set. Do not grill indoors. You will die. And something important that we do need is a desk with a computer. Later on, we can get the game a video desk and make YouTube videos and I can live my life in The Sims. But realistically, this is my life in The Sims right here. I grill indoors. I'm going to die. Yeah, well, we got to get the gamer chair. <laughs> That's the most important part of it. That's how I'm going to live fast. That's right. <laughs> you... <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Imagine walking into someone's house. <laughs> this is what you see. Right, where are the gamer LEDs? We need some gamer LEDs. We gotta kind of make it <laughs> more bearable. POV, you get a gamer BF and he takes you over to his house. Run. I already know what you're saying. ISP. Where's the bed? Where's he gonna sleep? He, he's a gamer. He needs to get his gamer rest at 5 a.m. Oh, would you look at that? Boom. Secret gamer bed. That's right, ladies. It's time for action. All right. Okay. First things first. We got 91 simoleons left in the bank. And you... Okay. You're already, you're already playing video games there, I see. it. That's not... We're not ready for that yet. You need to get painting. We're just going to go ahead and lock the front door. The only time that's going to be allowed open is to collect the post, which... um. Please don't. Take my LEDs away, Mr. Repo Man. I can't afford them. The, the, the neighbors have turned up wondering what the concrete slab of a building that appeared overnight has, um, why it's here. I mean, they brought me cake, but I can't accept it for I shall never leave this abode. Sorry, guys. Busy gaming. So we're just going to grind out some paintings while our little life, uh, well, all our skills are at the top at the moment. Skills? What are they called? Mood. Our mood is at the top. Yes, I, I call this one... Rat marriage. Hey. Oh, rat marriage sells for a pretty penny. Look, that already a level 3 Hello. painting, and the better we get, the higher price we'll get for our art, Maybe. too, and the better paintings we can actually do. So we won't have to worry about money for too long, although we are already up to 164 simoleons. All right, you're definitely not uh, the most inspired painter, because I've definitely seen this one before somewhere. Gamer poop. All right, we've done a few paintings now. I've got 400 dollary dues or simoleons, and you need to leave my house. I'm I'm not opening. I'm not coming out. It, I don't care about your cake. I'm sorry. I have no time for women. I, I only have time for, for gaming. I'm a... Uh, that's me gaming really hard. Uh, apparently, video gaming's actually a skill. And, and as soon as I want to be a computer whiz, I guess we'll gonna be gaming a lot now one thing i also want to do is get on board with the farming stuff i don't know how to do it or how to get it how to get it going but i do want to get some chickens inside my house can a chicken coop go inside my house it can this is gonna get messy all right so i'll get a chicken coop in a minute i just resold it because i i completely forgot that we've got no money so we need more money we'll buy the chicken coop and then we'll we'll I don't know what we're going to do with the chickens. All right, we are getting hungry, though, so we are going to go ahead and do some indoor grilling. Note to self and everyone watching, never grill indoors. I, I don't see adequate ventilation in this house. Oh, wait, what am I kidding? There's no roof. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, you, you wish I had no roof. Nah, nah, I've got plenty of roof. Look, gamer roof. I don't know how I did that. It wasn't intentional, but we're rolling with it. Oh, it's kind of just... Kind of painted our house in a way there, didn't you? That's not intentional. Leave my house. I'm never coming out. You don't understand. This one, um... This one looks like it was it was drawn by a man who's never left this house before. He's getting pretty tired now, so we're going to eat some more food and then get ourselves a nice night's rest at an actual decent time. That's not going to last too long, though, because we are a gamer. This is kind of creepy, all right? There is just... Just people just hanging out around my house. Just go home! Finally, we're getting around to some real art and painting the gamer station. Uh, there's not a lot to paint for, from reference here, so... <laughs> it's this or the grill. There we go. I've put him on to uh, practice his coding right now. As you can see, he is Hacker Man. It's, um, it's not quite as intense as it usually looks in, like, CSI, but... This is a, a man at the top of the game. Been outside my house so long that you're starting to smell. Even he doesn't smell. 
You weirdos! Apparently I made it up to a one-star celebrity. I haven't ever left the house. I don't know how I'm selling these photos. They just disappear. Right, sleeping at the gamer time of 6 p.m. Oh my god, are you finally leaving? That makes one of you. But what about you? Uh, I also just want to note she was there so long. She ate the cake that she brought for me. There you go. She finally got the picture. Oh no, <laughs> there's a new one. How do you both look? Um, part of the boomer generation and Gen Z at the same time. Alright, so we've got a thousand dollar dues in the bank about that, and I want to go ahead and start doing some of our life goal thingies to get some points so we can buy stuff in the reward store. And apparently I gotta play a video game for five total hours, which I didn't even have to tell him to do it. He's already doing it. Perfect. There we go, next set of stuff. We just have to play a video game for two hours straight and achieve level three programming and own 3,000 worth of electronics. Of course, you think these neon lights come cheap? I've got my programming up to level seven now, which means I can go ahead and make a mobile app. That's right, we're making Flappy Bird. Oh, definitely, you know, casually making a mobile app while there's some stinky sausage right next to me. I also, I missed it, but there was a, a small fire that went down. Don't grill indoors. There we go. We've done enough aspirations now that we can get the marketable trait, which means everything we create will sell for more. And if we're ever going to get that chicken coop, I need money. <laughs> oh, I actually get to name it. Um, oh, uh... Yeah, that'll do. Oh, this painting just sold for 900 big bucks. Okay, yeah, I like what we got going. Also, I picked up this job like a long time ago and I haven't turned it once. They, they have not fired me. It has been weeks. Since we've now got a pretty nice source of money, we are getting the chicken coop. Does this seem like a bad idea? Yes. Do I have any idea what chickens even do in The Sims other than obviously lay eggs? No. There are, there are now just chickens. In my gamer shack, I call this one Chicken Froze Up. <laughs> and it's worth $800. <laughs> oh, finally got fired. I want to alarm you, goblin. But you are being watched. <laughs> well, he's definitely gone crazy. He's talking to the chicken. Oh, I'm on fire again. Okay, stand back, chicken. <laughs> I don't want to eat you, but I will if you get too fried. Okay, uh, I think that's a fitting title for uh, anyone that ever ends up on fire because they were grilling indoors and the chicken distracted them. Use this app. It'll help, maybe. I don't know, it does. Yeah, this whole time I've been cleaning up the dishes and putting them over here. And I think what's actually been happening is uh, I've just been putting them in my pocket. There's just loads of food in my pocket. I'm uh, not too sure what to do with these eggs. Apparently, the quality is not too good, though. I thought I'd invest some of my money in some of the latest DLC's magical stuff, like growing mushrooms indoor. I, I don't know what to do with the eggs, let alone the mushrooms. I assume we could just eat them, but we've also got our magical grill where we just get <laughs> magical food from the cooks. I... <laughs> <laughs> my house is a mess. But because my programming is now max skill, that's what I've just been doing grinding out. I can now make a video game, which I'm doing. And it's going to be the best game ever. And we'll never have to worry about money again because I did just spend all of my money <laughs> on solar powers, a windmill, chickens, and mushrooms. Don't look, little chicken. It may be chicken, but, but it's, not, it's not that type of chicken. It does seem very morbid. Now that I think about it, I think I think my mushrooms are done. Um, I'm gonna harvest. I could sell them for seven dollars, but clearly farming does not pay. Hey, right, where, where's my mushrooms in here? There they are. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna eat the mushroom. Wow, they say hard work doesn't pay. Definitely didn't pay, and I barely filled up the hunger bar too. So. Back to work, gotta finish the game. Don't even know what has happened to this lamp, by the way. It is, um, it is stinky, falling apart, and there are, I, I don't want the chickens. I'm gonna be real with you, I'm done with the chickens. God, if you look at my relationships tab, it's just chicken. 
I haven't met a single person except the chickens. I think once we finish the video game, I want to expand the house though, because I, I don't want to live with the chickens anymore. They need like their own room away from me. Uh, I think I also need to set up a room where I can just dump the trash as well, because it's um getting unruly in here. Oh, well. Windmill didn't last too long, did it? If we want this game to sell, we need a name that's going to get it out there. The game will be Roblox 2. Oh, well, my apps and games are making me passive income, but I was expecting Roblox 2 to make more than $93. I will not lie. Oh, apparently due to squirrels, my power is out for 48 hours. My, I, I don't know what to do. My game RGBs are dead. Never mind. The, the power just came back on. I guess we're fine. Maybe. I don't know. We need money. We need to expand. Sadly, I don't think Roblox 2 will be the one to get us the big bucks. Instead, we're just going to make a bunch of paintings. Ooh, we just finished a masterpiece and it is worth a fair pretty penny. I, I don't know what you're doing to my windmill. I didn't invite you to fix that, but if you if you wanna, that'd be great, considering I I can't leave the house. Oh, <laughs> thank you, kind stranger, for getting the windmill working again. I, I'd repay you with um this rotten egg if you want, but you'll have to like come get it through the the letter box. Oh, oh wait, apparently I could just transmute them through the wall. Here you go. Take some eggs. Uh, just just don't eat them. That that's not my fault if you if you end up eating those. I got another masterpiece. 3.6 grand. Okay, the chickens are getting a good little house. Oh my god, no. The chickens are asserting dominance on the other chicken. Uh, the chicken is also levitating. I don't know if this was a show of dominance against me though. Oh, I just realized there's actually two chickens in one chicken there. That chicken's got two heads. It gets weirder. And weirder the more I look at it. There you go. We've upgraded the house a bit here. We've extended it outwards. Now the chickens live over here with the trash. And I built a kitchen so we don't have to potentially die every time we cook. Actually, I'm thinking about this. I technically can never leave, but people can technically come inside. What if I get a maid? Uh oh, there's someone here called the NAP Inspector. Um, I'm definitely not harvesting illegal livestock in my house. And those eggs, th they're not mine. You can't prove it. I won't lie. Uh, this, this chicken thing, it's getting a little out of hand. What the hell? They're just like inviting themselves in from the wild. I am the chicken shack. Um, not like Colonel Sanders. D not that type of chicken shack. Why can't my chickens just walk out the door? But I can't. Well, if you're wondering who really is the trapped livestock. Uh, just in case you didn't know, I was crazy enough and had a house full of chickens. I now have a giant chicken bush. Don't know if you're going to be impressed by this, ladies, but I have a giant chicken outside, right next to the butt plug. Oh no, my app, this is a virus, do not download, has actually, I, I don't think anyone's downloading it, I've only got nine simoleons. Oh, I was wondering who the hell this is, but I've got to hide the maid. Finally, we will talk to another human being. <laughs> Someone turned up with another cake. Oh, I forgot I'm famous because I'm a painter. So I'm just gonna, the first thing I'm going to do to the first human I see is sign an autograph. Oh, it, it won't even let me sign an autograph. She really, really is not interested in me, which makes sense considering the look she's giving my chickens. I, uh, I'm trying to make friends with her. <laughs> I'm just getting bombarded by chickens. They don't like her. I don't know. You'd think if it wasn't for the small chickens, the giant chickens might scare them off. But no, they're still trying to give me that damn cake. You have never had a true sleep until you've been watched by chickens. Uh, yeah, that's normal. Just casually carrying around 40 eggs in my back pocket. B better be careful I don't sit down. What the hell's going on here? You know? This one's really speaking to me right now, because I've had enough of these chickens, and I'm hungry. Yeah, maybe you should just go home. There's too many chickens. Hey then, I can trade my chickens for meat? Ah, yeah, no idea what happened to the chickens. They must have flown away for the winter in autumn. 
flightless bird. What? Chicken served me well. I have become such good friends with the maid that now she has moved in with me, and thus I no longer have to pay for her services. You've been duped, maid. I'm not sure about the ethical or moral dilemma of befriending a maid just so you don't have to pay for their services and then making them sleep in a bunk bed, but goblin don't care. You know what? First game we made was Roblox 2, so I'm gonna throw a spanner in the works here and make Roblox 1. Battle Royale. Fort, Fort, Fortner. How is my bed broken? And is it safe to sleep if it's sparking like that? Oh my gosh, she's cleaning the grill? I didn't even know you could clean the grill. I didn't think this through. I stole their maid, now they just sent a new one. That's right. I created Roblox 1 and 2. Roblox 1 Battle Royale Foot. Look at that. Works every time. Although this is really awkward. Can we, we were just friends, like really good friends. What, what's the problem? <laughs> I just... <laughs> I'm just stealing all the maids in the neighborhood. Oh. I think I missed his birthday. Oh, great. I sent a new one. And yes. He's getting buff. Yeah, I guess ever since our birthday, we've kind of proved that, um... Well, we could just live here forever. And by forever, I mean, uh... Not that long. Because you will die of old age at some point, if not... Trash can fires. Uh, also, one of, the, one of the maids is pregnant. My girlfriend. Um... That's great, you know. It's gonna be a goblin junior. The worst part is, despite the fact that I've gone ahead and, like, brought two maids into the family, none of them like to clean. I guess you don't bring your work home with you, but... Come on! Yeah, I guess we are pretty much done here. Um, we, we have managed to pretty much beat The Sims, considering I have an unlimited amount of money, women, and now heirs to the goblin fortune. So I guess, uh, we, we did go ahead and beat The Sims. Uh, I could go ahead and die just to finish it all off, but I kind of like my little goblin character. I think I might come back to him in a different challenge, you know, before he uh, dies of old age. But yeah, you like this little video on The Sims and you want to see more, feel free to hit the subscribe button and leave a like down below because there'll be plenty more on this channel, I have no doubt about it. And there are a few more Sims videos that have already been done on this channel, so if you want to check those out, they'll be linked down below or probably at the end card on the video. So, yeah, I guess until next time, guys, um, don't, don't ever, if you're a maid, you get called out to a job by a man called Goblin Sad. Run. Just run.